G'day folks, today I'm going to do a quick little video on how to use a GPS it's sort of GPS for newbies a lot of people have got them but not real sure on how to use them so I want to help you out okay just doing the basics I'm using today the GPS 64S this is one that um, I borrowed off my friend I actually use one excuse me I use this old looking thing. It's, they look identical, just in colour. Um, this one is the one I'm using. You can see it's all scratched and beaten up, but um, yeah, it's it's you know, it's not broken, so why fix it? Okay, but uh, you can't get them anymore, so we're going to use this one here as my demo. This is the current one. Let's start. Let's pretend you've just driven up to up a track somewhere and you're going out prospecting and um, you want to mark the car you've just parked you're in the bush you don't know where you are you got to what you do is you switch it on hold it down for a second or so and then she will fire up like so um, while that's doing that You've got page, menu, enter, quit, mark, find, in and out. Um, and in the, that big square button is called a rocker in the middle. It rocks up either way, all directions. Now, the GPS works on pages. Now, this first page with mine, I've got it set up so the satellite page comes up first. If you want to know how to change the sequence and all that, leave a comment below and I'll do a video on that but as you can see at the top there the numbers I use UTM stands for Universal Transverse Mercator I prefer using that over a longitude latitude all maps have got it on it's a lot easier because it's basically in meters away from a certain point which is Greenwich England okay here the 4M 4 meters currently even though I'm indoors I've got a four meter accuracy, so if I'm trying to get back to the car, I'll get within four meters of it. Elevation, well, that's self-explanatory. Okay, this picture here, all these little numbered circle-y looking things, they're all the satellites in real time out in space. The outer ring represents the horizon to where you're standing. The inner ring is 45 degrees and then you can't see it but just under there you've got a dot that is directly above your head now these dancing bars in the bottom here these represent well the, the number corresponds to which satellite and then the higher the bar the stronger the signal strength from it so obviously the higher the more you've got up there the more accurate you're going to be see we've already jumped down to three meters okay now Going through your sequence, you're going to use your page and your quit button. It's like, basically, I'll, I'll start with the page. See, it goes to the right. You press quit, it goes to the left. So, that's all there is to it. The main one you'll use is the map page. Now, that little triangle there represents you or me in this case that there's actually a road on the but it's a real basic map you can buy um, like maps for these so they've got all the like the topo, topo map you've got all your creeks and contour lines and all that I've got that on my old one I'll show you that next time okay you're in and you're out that literally zooms in if you watch that bar at the top there, so it's like you're looking down, bird's eye view at yourself from space, directly down on yourself. So that distance on the screen represents 80 meters. So if I press the in, you can see that I'm zooming right in. It goes maximum, or the closest you can get is five meters. Now this line here, it's because it's, while you move around it actually draws a track it's like breadcrumbs so you can always find your way back the exact way you walked for instance 
but that's dancing around because I'm indoors so don't pay that any mind okay zooming out using the out button I usually when I'm out prospecting I leave it on 120 meters so that means that that distance on the screen looking down on the map screen represents 120 meters I'll show you what happens if you zoom all the way out this will give you an indication as to where I am I'm just outside of Boulder Kalgoorlie and keep going there you go I'm in Western Australia as you can see right, it's got basic maps shows you the salt wakes and so forth okay take it back down 120 meters all right so you get to your location what's the first thing you want to do is mark your car so you press the mark button which I'll do now this page opens up now using the big rocker you can as you can see no matter where you press it'll take it there so let's say you want to change the picture of it to the car like I've already done it but you press enter well what you do is you highlight what it is you want to change you press enter now I can change the picture there's lots to choose from if you can't find what you want there you take it down to civil enter see like if you find a mine you can use a mine symbol X marks the spot so forth you get the drift that can't find it there you got marine enter that's more for boating hunting if you're into that enter there's some pictures there you, know, you can use but anyway just while we're at it if you're out camping I personally use that little picture of a tent to mark the camp let's do that let's mark the camp enter okay see now it's changed the photo or the little picture to the tent now the thing that I've highlighted now is the name of your waypoint well in this case it's just it allocates a number it'll go up automatically in sequence as you want but let's change the name we'll do that enter okay so it's our camp so highlight the C enter highlight the A enter highlight the M enter and the P enter right it says camp you happy with that you go down to done enter now it says now camp up here using the rocker come down you can leave a note there if you want to sort of remind you it depends that is the location um, of where we are right now so let's say that's our camp where we are now and then you highlight done enter there you go you can see it where we're standing I've just marked the camp now let's say you go for a walk or detect and you've wandered away and you're a few kilometers away and you're sort of lost and you think okay I need to get back now what you do you see that button there find so self-explanatory press find okay waypoints is lit up enter that's what we want always enter for what you want there's camp it's the only one that's on there because I've cleared the memory so it's the only one on there that's what we want enter and you press go well as you can see we still haven't gone anywhere so we're on it but just for the sake of it we're pretending okay hang on. the compass page there you go because we've we're navigating I've told the GPS that's find remember find the camp um, well we're there now but let's pretend we're not that little arrow be pointing to the south all you do is you literally turn the GPS well because we're here it's gonna circle but 
what you do is you point to this and just walk towards where the arrow points, excuse me. There's another way of doing it. Go back to the map page using page. Let's say you're only a couple of kilometers away. What you can do is you can zoom out. And you go, oh, okay. Um, there you go. It's where that way. What you do is you just literally look there. See a Kalgoorlie at the top there. We'll use that as an example. I've just turned the GPS. If I walk in that direction now, as where I am right now, it'll take me to Kalgoorlie. Same thing with your camp, your car, or whatever. Okay, let's say you're back at camp, you don't want to keep going there, so what you do is you press find. We're at camp. Using the rocker, highlight stop navigation, and you press enter. And now we're not going to go there. I'll show you if you go to the compass page. As you can see, it's not doing anything other than telling you which way is north and south just by turning it. But anyway, we're indoors. Um, and that's all there is to it. So, I hope you enjoyed my little video. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, thanks for watching.